Is anyone there? My my name is Briar Evergreen. I'm a wood carver from Wormwood. Uh, I'm lost, and I could really use some help. Anyone? Hello? My word, this place is a mess. There's gaps in the rafters, cracks in the floor, and dust everywhere. I thought it looked bad from outside, but it's almost worse now that I'm inside. I might be out of luck. I doubt anyone's been here for a long time. Hey, what's that sitting on the bar? Oh, it's a letter? Hey, if there's no objections, I'm just gonna read this. No? Anyone? Alright, great. Maybe this will have some answers for me then. Dearest Traveler, Welcome to my tavern. I am sorry that I am not there to greet you personally. I am old now. Older than I feel. Older than I would like to admit. And I am tired. This letter is my final farewell to the place that I have called home for the last forty odd years. We've been on many adventures and shared many memories, this tavern and I, but now it is time for me to step away and rest. But I am glad that you are here, traveler. For not only is this letter a farewell, it is also a guide. I know not who you are, where you come from, or even when you have chanced upon this place and this letter. But I know that if you are here, then this is where you are meant to be. No matter how lost or confused you may feel, you are in the right place. For you have been chosen to hold one of the most important positions in this world. You have been chosen to be keeper of this tavern. I understand your confusion. I would not blame you if you put this letter down and walked away right now. I nearly did myself when I first stumbled upon this tavern. But trust me when I tell you that you would be making a mistake. To be keeper of this tavern is one of the most fulfilling jobs you will ever have. It will challenge what you know of yourself, push your limits, change who you are, and you will be all the better for it. An intriguing opportunity, is it not? If you are still reading this, I assume that you are willing to take the job. Excellent. Allow me to give you some explanations as to the nature of this tavern, as well as some words of advice. Firstly, this tavern has several magical properties. I have been unable to discern the source of this magic. No enchantments or artifacts have been found anywhere on the premises, so I have come to the conclusion that the tavern was made by Minema herself. The magical properties of this tavern are threefold. The first and most important is what makes your presence here so crucial. The tavern is able to travel instantaneously to any place in the world. It doesn't travel at random, but always to put itself in the direct path of someone who has a desperate need or desire. Whether the person needs food, shelter, a place to escape, or someone to listen, the tavern will open its doors. It is your job, as keeper of the tavern, to provide of them. Ask not for payment, but do not refuse it. As long as you take care of its patrons, the tavern will take care of you. The second magical property of this tavern lies in its storerooms. The pantry will always have enough food and the cellar enough drink to sate the hunger and thirst of each of your guests. There might not be much in the store at the moment, as you are alone. But as the tavern fills with guests, so too will the storerooms fill with goods. Of course, I must note that the magic does not extend so far as to the preparation and serving of the meals and drinks. That will have to be done by hand. But fear not, the tavern will find help for you in the form of individuals searching for a purpose in this world. 
expect to see some new faces over the next couple of days and prepare to make friends. You will need their help. The third magical property of the tavern lies in the rooms. Upstairs you will find a long hallway filled with doors. You will find that every door is locked tight, without evidence of any locking mechanisms. Underneath the bar counter you will find a basket filled with small smooth stones, with various patterns notched into them. These are the room stones. The patterns on each stone correspond to a pattern on a door in the upper hall and will allow the bearer access to the room behind. Upon entry, the bearer will find themselves in a large space filled with a multitude of comforts. Each room will look different, depending on the needs and desires of the person carrying the stone. The room stones do have a secondary purpose. If anyone queries you as to how they are to find the tavern again, give them a stone of their own and inform them that if they need to find the tavern again, simply hold the stone tightly in their hand and open the nearest door. Inform them also that the stone will always return to them, no matter how often they lose it. Do not be frugal while distributing the room stones. To my understanding, they are functionally limitless. I have handed out a few hundred room stones during my time as keeper, and never once did the supply of stones seem to deplete. Make sure that you take the time to rest yourself. Do not get so caught up in helping others that you forget to help yourself. You have limits. Be aware of them. There is a sign above the door. One side says Vilkabin, and the other side says Clusede. These are old adivescent words that mean welcome and closed. Flipping the sign to the side that says Clusede will prevent the tavern from traveling to accept new patrons. Roomstone holders will still be able to access the tavern, but will be sent to their rooms instead of the common area. Use this whenever you need a break. Rest yourself, then get back to the work as soon as you are able. In my absence, I am sure the tavern has fallen into disrepair, much as it was when I first stumbled upon it. You will need to clean the place up and make it suitable for guests. This is your top priority. Do not worry. The tavern will find help for this as well. I recommend starting with the bar area and kitchen, then the pantry and cellar. Do not worry about cleaning the bedrooms, only the stairs and the hallway. Lastly, you will need to give the tavern a name. This is very important, but you do not have to decide right away. Take your time to make sure the name you're giving it is the right one. You cannot change it later. I hope this letter answers your questions, although I am sure there are many more you would like to ask. Just know that you would not be here if you were not capable. You will do great things, my friend. AF I am... Um... Huh. While the prospect of a magical tavern is intriguing, at the least, I really don't think it's for me. I make a mess of everything. I mean, the only reason I'm here is because I lost my way and ruined my map. And even if I could find my way home, there's nothing for me there. I'm sure that if you had known it would be me who would stumble upon your tavern, A.F., you wouldn't have written such a kind and encouraging letter. But, still, I suppose that since I'm here, I might as well try. Even if it falls through, at least I can say that I did my best, right? I suppose I should get started, then. I need to check out the rest of the tavern, but I get the feeling that I'm going to be overwhelmed if I do that first. So, for now, let's just start here in the bar. Let's see. I think the best course of action will be to organize the space. I'll sort through all the furniture. Everything that is still functional can go over by the stairs, and everything that is broken can go by the fireplace for repurposing. 
And once I've done that, I should have a nice clean open area to work with. Yeah, that's a good plan. Time to get to work. Phew. All right. This looks a lot better already. I still have a lot to do, but I'm happy with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with this. Time for dinner and bed. I can start again in the morning.